13 and that's when they found that I stopped, I stopped growing at the age of 10 and they found the tumour at 13 because mum, mum and dad said, oh, well, this isn't right, she's not growing, she's not developing, you know, like, she's supposed to be taller than this and they took me to a, uh, a GP in Air, which is my hometown, and they did investigations and they saw that there was a tumour on my pituitary stalk. visited a few um, specialists and um, they determined that she had a brain tumour. Um, to this point in time they don't know what type of brain tumour but it's, um, there's definitely one there and um, she's had two lots of brain surgery now trying to um, determine what type of brain tumour it is and um, to try and um, uh, choose the right uh, treatment for that tumour once it's diagnosed. I guess from my own personal point of view, it makes me proud to work in a, a workplace that is willing to um, get behind um, charities and I guess by choosing Brainchild, it was um, Queensland based and it's a non-for-profit uh, non organisation and the money goes directly to research which hopefully will um, you know, help provide a cure for this, this disease within children. sort of re made me realise that it's not just about me, it's about the other kids too. Like, it's about helping those those other kids that don't have a chance. Like, those other kids that, like, I've lost a lot of friends and I want to help increase awareness and I, I never I never knew that there was such thing as brain tumour before I thought that, that I've got one myself. Without being touched by it myself, I probably wouldn't um, wouldn't realise what the consequences are. But when you're touched by it and you see it and you feel it, then it makes you want to contribute and do something to help.